This vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Gay's Garage of Val Gagne, Ontario. At Gay's Garage, they have a good selection of new Ford vehicles, trailers, and a good selection of good quality pre-owned vehicles. Feel free to check out their full inventory by going on to gaysgarage.ca. For additional information about Gay's Garage and Val Gagne, check out the description below where you'll find information like their telephone number and their address. What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. Today I've got a video for you of this all new and all electric 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning Lariat. This is wearing an Avalanche exterior and black leather trim interior. The tire sizes on the F-150 Lightning are actually a 275 60 or 20s, right there. So the all-new F-150 Lightning with the Lariat series does not have remote start, so we'll just go ahead and step inside. But it does have the typical smart key system, so you're able to wirelessly lock and unlock the vehicle by just keeping the key fob in your pocket with the black buttons on the driver and passenger door handles, and as well as touch sensors. To lock, just tap the button once, and then have to wait in a second, grab behind the handle, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. And there's also a keyless entry keypad over here, so you can unlock the vehicle that way instead of the smart key system. If you want to lock your doors, you just press the seven and the zero all together, and it locks your doors for you. Grab behind the handle to unlock it. Soft to the touch over here. It does have the B&O sound system over here. We'll just go step inside. So the all-new F-150 Lightning Lariat does have the push-button start looking over here. If you want to power up the vehicle, all you have to do is to make sure you have the key fob within the interior, apply your foot to the brake, and then just push the push-button ignition to go. And there you have it. Anyways, we'll just go and shut the door. On this one, you do get a three-spoke steering wheel with sport grips. It's a single speed transmission with your shifter button located over here. And when you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with guidance lines as well. And if I push that, shifter goes down like that. Tap it again, shifter comes back up. Simple as that. On the touch screen, you got your climate controls over here where you can change the blower fan speed, change all the different zones, it does have heated seats as well and a heated steering wheel. You got two USB ports over here and a wireless charging pad over here. Cup holders there and you actually get a nice little cubby storage right there as well. Your pro trailer assist button over here. Tap it, it goes on. Tap it again, switches it off. Trailer brake switch. Trailer disconnected. Your 12 volt power outlet over here and an AC 120 volt outlet that runs on 20 amps. The F-150 Lightning does have a touch screen over here. Tap it. YouTube don't like that. You got uh, Sirius XM here, all the different channels. That one's my favorite channel there, Prime Country. really nice and you can access Bluetooth over here Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well on the home screen over here you can access owner's manual charging over here it tells you it says 85% 391 kilometers of range over here it is available on the F-150 Lightning models trip energy over here you got media. Really neat. And you also got this function over here, which is Pro Power on board. The cabin over here. It's right there. Backup power. You got all that type of features inside this F 150. And you also got towing as well. It's really awesome. 
access the owner's manual. You can play videos. Did you know Hill Start Assist can help prevent your vehicle from rolling backwards when you're stopped on a hill? In fact, it makes it easier to pull away when on a hill or slope by maintaining pressure on your brakes and giving you more time it's to really move awesome. from the brake to the gas pedal. Here's how it works. If you stop on a slope, your car will sense that it's on a hill. You got phone navigation over here. It tells you where you're at. I'll go back to radio. It does have the driver information screen over here. We'll scroll up. You can access pitch and roll, tire pressure, power distribution, seat belts, driver assistance, and many more. Whatever you like. Cruise control is available on the F-150 Lightning Lariat models, activated by the button. It does have hands-free telephone over here with your volume controls over here, phone buttons, your voice commands. We'll show that right now. Help. To get directions, say drive me to, followed by the name of the place you want to go to. To call someone, Say call, followed by the name of the person you want to call. Say a frequency to listen to an FM station. Cancel. It'll walk you through everything. It does have the electronic parking brake over here. We'll just pull up to engage. And then it'll tell you if the parking brake is set. And if you want to disengage it, hold your foot on the brake and then just disengage it. Parking brake off. And you got this little parking button over here. Navigate to parking, parking assistance. Traction off button over here, it's activated by the button. Really neat. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights and hazards. The F-150 Lightning does have an automatic driver's side window right there. And let's go check out the exterior. Can't even hear it. That truck is so quiet and it doesn't have an engine. It's all electric. All you can hear is the uh, that blower fan running. So I'll go ahead and pop the front. You just pull on this red thing right here to release the front. I'll see if I can do this with one hand while I'm holding the camera at the same time. It's all extra cargo space over here. And you pull this out. A little bag there. I'm not sure what that is. It does have cargo lighting over here, activated by the button. And as well as your AC 120 volt outlet that runs on 20 amps and a 2.4 kilowatt outlet maximum four AC 120 volt outlets and two USB ports for USB charging as well. It's really convenient. And your windshield washer can go right in there as well. Alrighty. So we're gonna power it off. And we'll check out the back seat. Here's the backseat area of the F-150 Lightning. And you got two USB ports over here, extra two USB ports there, and an AC 120 volt outlet that runs on 20 amps. 120 volt outlet, and two heated seats and your vents. Cup holders right there. Really awesome. Now we'll go check out the tailgate. If you want to open it, just press this button twice. And it opens it. Now back here, it does have the sprayed in Ford bed liner. And you actually get the extra outlets. One over here is the AC 240 volt outlet that runs on 30 amps. 
7.2 kilowatts maximum over here. And as well as a AC 120 volt outlet that runs on 20 amps, 2.4 kilowatts maximum, which is right in there. And finally, the AC 120 volt outlet that runs on 20 amps, same thing, 2.4 kilowatts maximum. And you have your cargo lighting over here as well. Very cool. Anyways, we'll just go and close the tailgate. Just do the same thing, just press the button twice and then it'll close it. Or you can actually push it to close it. So for the front, you can actually open it with the red latch in the driver's side, or you can actually open it with the key fob. You just press this button twice. Now, watch what happens. It'll just open automatically. See what I mean? It's really cool. We'll just go and close it right now. Do the same thing, press the button twice. And it closes automatically. Simple as that. We'll just go ahead and check out the passenger side. It does have F-150 floor mats right there. You can see the Ford logo right there. And your state of charge box over here it does come with the owner's manual over here 2023 ford f-150 lightning owner's guide over here i like this sunglasses storage up there and doom lamps on top vent passenger airbag over here same thing, b &O sound system there. Same smart key system over here on that side. These things were just absolutely phenomenal. I love those type of electric vehicles. And we actually do have this type of black one that looks the same thing. That one's a 2023, that one's in black. That one's the same thing, Lariat series. And we got a blue one there. We actually got like three of them in stock, so. So next we're gonna check out the charging port. You just push it to open this up. And you actually get the standard J1772 connector where your charger plugs into and you flip that down. DC fast charging. I'll show you something right now. So let's talk specs. The Ford F-150 Lightning models come with two different battery packs. One is the 98 kilowatt hour standard range battery, and as well as the 131 kilowatt hour extended range battery. You can also get the Ford Mobile Charge Cord when you purchase your new Ford F-150 Lightning, whether it's a XLT, Laureate, Platinum, whatever you have. It comes with two different plugs. One is the 120 volt plug that plugs into your standard 120 volt outlet at home, and as well as the 240 volt plug. Now as for the 240 volt connector, it actually uses a NEMA 1450 plug that plugs right into the 240 volt outlet, which can charge your Ford Mustang Mach-E or your Ford F-150 Lightning. Or you can also get this Ford Charging Station Pro, which is included with the extended range battery. Let's just say for example, if you're installing a 240 volt outlet, a 50 amp GFCI breaker is recommended in order to prevent shocks. Or you can actually get an electrician to get it professionally installed for you. So right over here we have a flow charging station over here that runs on 80 amps. And it's rated at 208 or 240 volts. And you push this button over here, take the charger out. Charger has a little button on it over here locking mechanism that locks it into place when you go to charge your car. So the Chevrolet Bolt EV and the Bolt EUV, Ford F-150 Lightning and the Ford Mustang Mach-E uses the same type style, J1772 connector that plugs right into the car when you're charging it. It's really awesome. It can actually plug right into the F-150 too. And the flow charging station will actually charge up this F-150 Lightning Lariat. So I'll close it up. And there you go. 
Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy my review on the all new and all electric 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning Lariat. Be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos just like this. And remember, as always, like, subscribe, favorite, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take it easy, guys.